Hey, girl. Coast is clear, huh? Well, let's check this out. Hey, everybody. Thanks for clicking play. Today's Tesoro Doberman video is how to create a post and how to post your dog's cropped ears. Now, there are several methods to this. Now, unless you have a long cut show crop, you don't need to do any of the other methods. Honestly, I'd say this is my personal opinion, but honestly, preferred a lot of, haven't come across really any vets that haven't done it this way. Um, I've been posting for well over 15 years, uh, well over 100 dobies, I'd say. Um, so this method I've had down for a long time. Now there's other methods you will see out there. They are not only <laughs> my personal opinion, stupid. Um, they are ridiculous. They can hurt the dog. They can cause damage. They're unnecessary. Can be a little bit more expensive. All different ways. Let's check out one of them. Berlin, come here. Come here. What do you got in your ears, girl? Come here. What are you? Oh, Berlin, what is in your ears? She's got tampons in her ears. Oh, Lord have mercy. The best thing to do with these is don't use them. Ladies, I'm sorry. It was not a guy that came up with how to post a dog's ears with tampons. What's your... No guy was walking through the store and bypassed the hardware section, bypassed the bypassed every section in the store and went to straight to the lady section and said hey this is the best way to post my dog's ears no it's definitely a lady apologize whoever it was if you're still alive here you go uh no best thing to do with this is trash pull the plug on this literally just pull the plug get it out of here it's trash it's trash let's look at the proper way to post your Doberman's ears. That right, B. What do y'all want? Is this why it's around my neck? Huh? Huh? It's like they always want something. If humans could only be like dogs, they just these guys just want your love, psych. They just want treats. That's it. They want treats in the play. So, what are we looking at? We got the tampons, right? Tampons, right here. Boom. Step one was taking them out of Berlin. Okay and your dog. Step two, check it out right here. What is this guys? What is this? What is this? Nothing good. Step two, trash. There's another method that is pretty ridiculous. Clothes hangers. Let me come in for a close one. What are they good for? Hanging clothes on. Whoever came up with the idea of putting something sharp, small, and a rod uh, inside their dog's ear. Retarded. Put that in there. What do we do with this? Tell you what, it says it what it is. You don't have to wait till Monday to get rid of it. Get rid of it now. Get in the trash. It's out of here. It's gone. So, now, let's get straight into posting. What are the materials that we need? Well, let's check it out. Let me check my belt bag here. What do we got in the belt bag? What do we got in the belt bag? Huh? Ro, what's in the belt bag? What's in the belt bag? What's in the belt bag? See, <laughs> you think they love me, but they really just want more treats. Smoke. My rescue right here. Berlin, Justice, Rowena. So, what is in the belt bag that is all you need? Let's check it out. A pair of scissors. Oh my. A pair of scissors. Look, dogs are excited to see what's coming out of there. Oh, they probably know. Backer rod. We saw earlier. This is only $4.58 for 20 feet. All you're going to need to post your dog for the entire time. And then, tape. Johnson & Johnson. Let's get to the next step. Let's create a daggone post. Let's go. Everything you need here. You got your Johnson & Johnson tape. You got your scissors. You got your backer rod. And you got your tape here. So, let's watch how simple, let's see how simple this is to make a post. All right. So what I like to do with the 5 8 5 8 backer rod is I like to cut a little groove out of it like that. What that is for is to slide down in the ear canal. Makes it fit in there a little better, not so tight, doesn't create a moisture pocket, things like that. So, as I've labeled here, base slash ear canal. So, there it is, ear canal. 
This is the soft side of the tape out. This is so it can slide down in, no stickiness, not going to hurt the dog, anything like that. Just fold the tape around, there you go. Still, that side in. Here we go again. Long piece. Long piece. All right, so soft in, sticky out. So, start with your post. About inch and a half up the ear canal. And wrap it around one full time. Once you get it full, wrapped around full one time, because you're wrapping this reverse, you can see my thumb is stuck to it. Just take it at an angle and bring it around. Just keep wrapping it up, keep wrapping it up, keep wrapping it up. And as you can see, I have a little access, and that's okay. Because you've got your trusty scissors standing by. And you're just going to cut off the access and... What's this? What's this? Trash! Uh, how long did that take? So that's how to make an ear post. Now let's get into posting. Easy part. So what I like to do, before I'm going to go ahead and post, I like to actually have everything already cut, set to the side. You already see I've got one piece that is numbered one for Bell. Okay? So I'm going to, and, and when it's a good sized pup, say, you know, about three, four months, four months old of age, you want about eight pieces, or eight inches of tape. All right, so I cut another piece. This is for another ear. And then this is going to be the tip. You only need about six inches there. And with the tip, cut a little notch. This is medical tape. So it comes apart real easy. Look at that, perfect rip every time. So that's for the tip. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab my good old Sharpie. And I'm going to list that. Don't know yet, but I'm going to list that as three. Three. I'm going to put tip. This is one for the bell. All right. Now again, what I'm cutting here is what is going to be called, I call it the fold over. Fold over is what holds the ear post secure uh, from your dog jumping around, things like that. So I'm going to put a two on this. Fold. Fold. One set of ears. One set of ears. I'm going to start with her left ear. And since we've already got the post pre-made. Now remember, soft side down, obviously. Push down. You can push pretty good and snug. You're not going to hurt them. If they let out a yelp, you'll know you went too far. Now, you are always going to wrap towards the, towards the center of the skull. Now, remember, we numbered these. So, one, the bell. Start at about a half inch above where the fold of the ear touches the, uh, the skull area. So, take that. I like to do a kind of a loose wrap on the first one. And then I go a little tighter as I wrap it around. All right, there's the bell. Now, even though you measured your posts, they're going to be a little longer now that they're wrapped up and everything. So I like to leave about a quarter inch, cut that off. Leave it alone, girl. Now, here's where the fold over comes into play. Now, your dog is going to be jumping around and everything, so the sticky side in isn't always going to hold it nice and secure. So, on the base of that number one tape, put the fold over on there, bring it over, wrap it over. I call it the fold over piece. You're going to have a little access. Depends on your, your dog's ears and uh, how long they are. Now, number three, the tip. The tip is going to hold the fold over in place. And remember, you're always taping the same direction. So I'm going from in. I'm going towards <clears throat> on the left ear. As you're looking at your as, as it was on the, your dog's ear, on their head, you will go clockwise. Come here, girl. So there's the tip. And the final piece we haven't talked about, the final wrap. Now the final wrap is just a wrap that secures the whole thing. Because you want the whole fold of the ear to be the same shape and hold everything. And it just held everything in place. 
Now, this is what I like to do. I like to have all my pieces of tape cut already sitting here. I've got one section, one piece. Uh, I've got all the tape for one ear on one side and all the tape for the other ear on the other side. Already cut, already ready to go. So that way, you, you know, you're not fidgeting around. Like I said, give it a good shove down. If it's bendy like that, it doesn't matter. It's going to straighten up in the air. Let me see justice. All right. So, what we're going to do, same thing again. Give it a good shove down in the ear canal. The sticky tape is sticking to the inside of the ear, as you see. That is an important piece. The sticky tape on the inside. Do not skip that step. Do not skip that step. One, the bell. Now, on the right ear, on the dog's head. Left ear as you're looking at them. You're going to go counterclockwise. And same thing. Half inch. So a half inch above where the ear touches the head. Don't go below. You'll cause a friction sore. I go a little loose on the first loop, then I go a little tighter. All right, same thing as before. Post a little long, leave about a quarter inch, cut it out, get it out of there. All right, we've already explained the fold over. So the fold over method, doesn't matter which side you start on the fold over. The fold over's purpose is, like I said before, is just to, as you can see, if the dog were to jump, run, play, it's not going to let that post loosen up at all. That's its purpose, and it's a very important purpose as they're older. As young pups, not necessary. Now, the tip. We are going to put the tip on the tip. So remember, we're going around the same direction still. And it feels unnatural to do this. So counterclockwise on the dog's right ear. The dog's right ear, left as you look at them. And then the final wrap piece, because you see there's a piece of fold here. Now that fold I have seen over the over years on some dogs will actually heal differently than the rest of the ear and stand differently if you don't tape it all the way up. So again, angle it, bring it all the way up. And we are done. <laughs>